In the heart of the misty woods, where the fog hung thick and low, the bandits lay in wait. The forest was their territory, a place where even the bravest soldiers dared not tread without caution. Silently, they communicated through hand signals, each man knowing his role in the ambush. Their eyes were fixed on the narrow path, anticipating the moment when their prey would walk into their trap. The soldiers marched in disciplined silence, their armor glinting dully in the faint light. Suddenly, arrows flew from the trees, and the bandits descended upon them with fierce cries. Steel clashed against steel, and the once quiet forest was filled with the sounds of battle. The soldiers, though trained and well-equipped, struggled against the ferocity of the bandits, who fought with the desperation of men defending their homes. In a small clearing, the bandits regrouped. Some nursed their wounds, while others kept a vigilant watch. Their leader, a rugged man with a commanding presence, addressed them. We fought well today, but the fight is far from over. We must protect our land and our freedom at all costs. His words ignited a fire in their hearts, and the bandits nodded in grim determination. The fortified village became a battlefield as the soldiers launched an all-out assault. Bandits fought back with all their might, defending not just their lives, but their way of life. The villagers, terrified and caught in the crossfire, did what they could to protect their homes. Amid the chaos, the bandits fought with renewed vigor, knowing that their resistance was a beacon of hope for the oppressed. Amidst the chaos, the leader of the bandits and the captain of the soldiers found themselves face to face. Their duel was intense, a clash of ideals as much as of swords. Each strike was precise, each movement calculated. The bandit leader fought with the passion of a man defending his freedom, while the soldier captain fought with the discipline of his training. The outcome of their duel would determine the fate of the battle. The battle ended with the field littered with the fallen. Survivors from both sides tended to their wounded and mourned their dead. The cost of the fight was high, and the forest was eerily silent once more. The bandits, though victorious, knew the struggle was far from over. They had won this battle, but the war for their freedom would continue. Realizing the futility of their internal conflict, the bandits and soldiers formed an uneasy alliance. A greater threat loomed on the horizon, one that endangered both their worlds. They trained together, shared strategies, and forged bonds of camaraderie. The forest, once a place of division, became a symbol of unity and hope. The final battle was upon them. Bandits and soldiers stood side by side, facing an enemy that threatened to destroy everything they held dear. The sky was dark with storm clouds, mirroring the grim determination in their hearts. As the enemy approached, the unified force braced for the fight of their lives, knowing that their courage and unity would be their greatest weapons. Against all odds, the unified forces emerged victorious. The enemy was defeated, and the land was safe once more. The leader of the bandits and the captain of the soldiers, once bitter enemies, shook hands in a gesture of mutual respect and newfound unity. Their alliance had saved their world, and they knew that together, they could face any challenge. The village was rebuilt, and peace returned to the forest. Bandits and soldiers, once divided, now lived together in harmony. The struggles of the past had forged a strong bond between them and the forest thrived under their care. Children played in the streets, and laughter filled the air. The new dawn brought with it a promise of freedom and unity, a future built on the courage and sacrifice of those who fought for it.